Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. My name is Anna, and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. In this channel, I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. It is the first day of fall. Finally, I have been waiting for this day, guys. I am so tired of summer. I feel like summer started too early here in Las Vegas, and it is one of the hottest summer that I have experienced since I lived here. Anyway, today is the first day of fall officially and uh, we've finally gone below a th triple digit temperature. So we are now in the 90s in the morning and at nighttime we are in the 70s. I know that temperature might probably be summer weather <laughs> for some of you guys but in here that is our fall weather at least the start of the fall weather and uh, what a difference that drop in temperature by a few degrees at least we're not hitting 100 anymore what a difference it made on my plants a lot of them have been showing active signs of growth and i also have some flowers developing again so this one is the parodia that emily of the succulent greenhouse recently sent me and i made a video when i did an unboxing of this one unfortunately we do not know the id of this one guys so if you know um let me know in the comments down below but it is so beautiful i did not expect this to flower at least this year because i just potted this up so this is one and then i have a little one here this is so pretty. This is a Huernia Voltcar TI. Okay, this is from Brian uh, of Puerto Rico. So he sent me this. This has been flowering on and off since summer. So now that it is fall, I've been keeping this inside the house. But recently I moved it out because the weather is um, more cooler or cooler right now. So it is in flower as well i also have other cacti or cactus that have started producing another round of buds so this is a gymnocalisium so yeah a lot have been going on i have some echinopsis as well forming pops so they used to be asleep during summer when they went dormant because of the extreme heat this is my red or dark fuchsia echinopsis this made a flush of flowers last uh, spring or early summer and now it is beginning to form flower bud again this is the gymnocalisium bateri that uh, Catherine of Purple and Torns also recently sent me. This is actually the second uh, bud already, although I missed seeing the first flower because it opened when I was on vacation, so I missed it. But fortunately, it has another bud, so I'm hoping I'd get to see this one. And um, there's a lot of new growth. This is the other gymnocalisium spagazzini that uh, catherine of purple and thorns sent me look catherine the thorns are or the spines are starting to perk up these are actually new the black spines on top so it is alive <laughs> yeah so i've had some flowers i still have to clean up you know so i have a lot of flower buds that i still have to clean up fruits that i need to harvest or take away and harvest the seeds so i have a lot so this is actually already fell over but there are seeds inside there this is echinopsis mirabilis it has a lot of seed pods still attached so i would have to clean this up ouch and yeah i have to work on them but these are already dry. I don't need to wash them anymore. And oh, this one. These are my albuca. So this one is an albuca spiralis. Finally, they're waking up. During the summer, there was nothing in this pot. You could hardly see anything. So this grows out of bulb. 
so as you can see this was the last uh, year's leaves in summer they all dried up and they look dead but now they have waken up this is the spiralis this is the one that would eventually form spiral tips this is another type of albuca that Ate Hermi from California sent me. I'm not sure what exactly this is, but I do not think it is a spiralis. It is another type of albuca because this one, no matter how tall and how much sunlight I give it, the tips doesn't form spirals like this one. So this might be another kind of albuca. I just don't know exactly what it is because it did not flower for me last year so hopefully this year i will see the flower on this one but this one has yellow flowers very fragrant this one so the tips haven't formed the spirals yet it is starting as you can see it is curled so it is starting to form those spiral tips in my desert gardens i've taken off the shade cloth that was on top of this one because i think they can handle the sun now now that the weather is cooler but on that side i did not take it off yet because our neighbor has this big tall deciduous tree so this fall i know all of these leaves will fall and it will fall on my desert garden <laughs> like it does every year but it's okay that's why i'm keeping that net or that shade cloth for now until all these leaves fall so it can catch it and then eventually i will take the, out that shade cloth as well yeah but so far everything is uh okay knock on wood this uh, agave this is a uh, agave victoria regine this is the only one where i placed the shade cloth because it still shows some sign of signs of burning so i'm giving it extra protection not everything is good news so <laughs> these are my epiphytic cacti they did not make it during the summer i could have saved them if i placed them indoors but I did not have enough space inside the house for big pots like this. And when they were alive, you know, these are actually very long. So I did not have enough space for them indoors. I had to leave them out here. But they're actually under shade. See, so they were not getting direct sunlight, only bright shade. But just the mere very hot and dry temperature just cooked them. See, this is the Rick Rack Cactus so did not make it this epiphyllum has a little bit of life left in it so i might be able to save this one and then i'll show you my christmas cactus and easter cactus the christmas cactus yeah it's a goner it did not make it although i might be able to save this easter i'm not sure if easter or thanksgiving cactus so i might be able to save this since i see new growth sprouting in there so i will just transfer this in a smaller pot here's another one right here it just cooked i should have tossed this along or weeks ago but i wanted to film it and show you guys that not everything is good news here in my garden so this one is also cooked under the hot weather there is another epiphytic cacti of mine that is under the tree and it still did not make it so no matter where i place it in my backyard they just couldn't stand the dry heat last summer my hawarthias are starting to wake up so they were dormant during the summer and i would have to like separate those and um, i promised some to friends as gifts because i don't need that much like this gasteria look at how prolific it got so i would have maybe i will just keep one or two mother plants and i'm gifting the rest to friends this cactus had a battle with mealy bugs this summer and i was finally able to test out this product this is the kiss of death by the prickly pear pricklypear.com is their website so i was finally able to test this one and use it in here and look after two weeks 
it is clean not a single sign of mealybugs anymore so i can say now that this actually works i did a lot of repotting but i still have a few to work on like this one is still in its nursery pot and soil i still need to move that or repot it and this one as well i have this terracotta pot on standby already for this little echinopsis this is the spring blush that i got from brent wigand when i went there if you haven't seen that video i highly recommend you to see that video it is one of the best interviews i've made i would say is very educational and uh, this euphorbia i love this euphorbia this is some medusa type i don't know exactly what the name of this is but i like how it is growing half of it is crested and half of it is normal so i'll keep it like that because it is a nice you know specimen you can see two ways how it grows but this is still in its nursery pot this is from desert theater nursery so i still have to change the soil and the pot by the way i would like to greet a special subscriber from romania roxana happy birthday roxana i know it is past your birthday but september is your birthday month so this flower is for you and also this one <laughs> happy birthday i hope you had a great one this year on this rack right here this used to have a shade cloth on top but now i took out the shade cloth since it is cooler now and then this one is full of my seedlings and some of those that cannot tolerate the hot weather so a lot of the seedlings that i used to grow indoors are now outside here growing so very nice this one i recently repotted this because i noticed that it did not produce as much leaves as it did last year so this is a euphorbia poisonii and i noticed that it had very little roots i don't know what happened maybe it got too dehydrated over the summer that it lost some of its roots but anyway i repotted it hopefully it will recover and we're back to where we started so oh by the way this is uh the euphorbia that Daz of cacti mania recently sent me it has little bit it has little flowers there on top so very tiny i don't even know if it has already rooted but it is forming flower in this one in here has an offset growing on the side so they're now outside here joining their friends <laughs> enjoying the sun and a little bit of cooler weather all right everyone if you love this fall update give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll talk to you again next time bye everyone and cheers